Well, I woke up this morning, washed out the tie-dye shirts, and right now they are in the wash. Once they get out of the dryer, I will show you guys the final product because I know everyone from yesterday was like, yo, I really want to see those. But I also want to give a huge shout out for everyone that is placing orders. We are shipping out a few packages. Yesterday we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven orders from yesterday as well as a bunch of orders from the keychains. I haven't started packaging them up, but I am going to start doing that today as well. If you didn't know, I am selling these $20. If you want all three colors, make sure you use the package deal. You will save on shipping. A lot of people are like, Emilio, three for 60, it's not a good deal. Like either way, you're spending $20 each. Yes, I understand that, but you only pay one-time shipping versus if you add every single color separate, it's gonna be uh, three times the shipping. So just keep that in mind, $20. Again, if you guys, Support me if you've been watching my videos for a while. Just buy one, twenty dollars. They're really good quality. You can honestly have them as keychains. You can wear them like on your on your side just to flex. They're really nice quality. Probably the same exact quality as the belts, and they're twenty dollars. If you guys, you know, a lot of people are Emilio. Emilio is that authentic? Is that awesome, guys? It's twenty dollars. If you really, really like, if you want to be a heckler and want the legit legit i will make one for two hundred dollars or a hundred dollars and i don't think you guys want to spend a hundred or two hundred dollars on a keychain twenty dollars for looking at it no one's gonna know the difference guys twenty dollars guys come on link down below emcvlogs.com make sure you cop one so this is like my go-to backpack literally i use this every single day it's a Tumi. if you guys are familiar with Tumi, it's a very expensive bag i think this was almost four hundred dollars yellow inside you guys know yellow is my favorite color and to be honest, I don't use this one anymore. Now this is a Tumi as well. It's an olive green. It's a little bit smaller than the one I use and that's the reason why. But what's really nice is it actually has an orange inside, like orange inner liner all throughout. Now it does say EMC here, but if you take this to the Tumi store, they can either put a blank one or they could put your initials. I know it has, you know, my initials on there, but you can easily get it fixed. And I'm gonna be selling this. I'm gonna post it on like Depop and all those expensive websites, but I have this and then I also have the matching duffel under here. So I'm gonna kind of sell it as a pack. Again, if you guys are familiar with Tumi, you guys know these are very expensive. Um, I'll sell the bundle for 350. So basically you get the backpack and the matching duffel, all olive green, orange liner for 350. And this backpack alone retailed for like 350. And I believe this was like 400. So you're getting basically $700 worth of luggage for 350. So if anyone's interested, I'll probably post it on my website just because I have a couple extra listings. But these will be for sale to me. And if you guys aren't familiar with this brand, I would definitely look it up. It's one of the best luggage. I don't understand why people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on Gucci and Louis Vuitton like suitcase backpacks luggage. To me is definitely where it's at. The quality is amazing. Lifetime guarantee, I believe. I don't, I don't, I don't actually, I don't want to say, I don't know if they are, but they are really good backpacks for sure. People always say, why don't you cop girl stuff? Well, here you go. Got the vintage gray tag Nike. Those spell out. Vintage Nike, another great tag, little essentials. I was about to grab this till I realized it has a yellow stain right there, sadly, because I know you guys like the striped Ralph Lauren shirts. Let's see. I saw a couple people with bins, like carts full, so we probably won't find too much in here. But let's see what we can find. Got the basic pull of Ralph Lauren zip up. Got the Nike vintage windbreaker with little Nike hits. A little yellowing, but honestly not too bad. Nice little pickup. Got the Baltimore Ravens 52, Ray Lewis. They want $10 though. eBay it's like 15, so I don't want to do that to you guys. So I'm only leaving with the black shirt. They wanted $8 for that jacket, it had a bunch of stains, and then that girl's Nike shirt was $6. I was like, yo, you guys are taxing so much. Like I put t-shirts for eight and $10 on my website. I can't be doing that. The super sick Ralph Lauren, like Navajo all striped. It seems like it's all cut and sew also, 14 bucks. Last time you guys saw me buy all the mountain shirts, well, I guess I forgot one. But this is a kind of ugly one, the Siamese cat. That one's the one, I think I still actually have that one for sale. What is this, original fake? Oh, original use. That was original fake. Nice little Burberry men's polo in the size medium. In like an olive green colorway. Probably gonna pick this up. 
Burberry London like a wine color t-shirt with a little hit right there. If you guys aren't familiar, Burberry t-shirts, these things probably retail for 100 plus all day. So, probably pick this up for you guys. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger knit sweater with a little crest right there. They want $16 though. So the Burberry shirts that I showed you guys last time that were kind of too expensive, they're sitting and I talked to the manager and he's actually gonna give me a little discount. So all this is Burberry. So these have been sitting for a while and they're a size 38, which is kind of big, but to be honest, I've been selling a lot of 2XL and maybe there's someone out there that would want a 38. They're brand new with tags. Tommy Hill figure, Tommy Hill figure. So I think I'm gonna cop them. Might as well, right? And then all their designer stuff. So basically the Louboutins, I believe they're asking 300 on all Louboutin red bottoms. Louboutin, these are Louboutin as well. These are Balenciaga, which actually these I don't remember seeing. How much are these? 180 bucks. Not bad. And then we have some Balenciagas, the arenas. We have gray, blue, red, and this one's like the red Stingray. And then the white. Let's see, we got some Beat Jordans. These things are huge, size 13. I'm not really sure the price. Oh, 100 bucks. Boom, Polo Ralph Lauren Bear, $9.99. Hell yeah. Nice little come up for sure. This is pretty cool. We have the Adidas camo jacket, the little Adidas logo, the three stripes. They want $18 though. Unfortunately, that is a little bit too much for me. Perfectly faded, we have the 1996 Raiders, single-sided. Got the old school Dolce Cabana striped V-neck. This Ralph Lauren shirt is crazy. Like paisley flowers with like the swan ducks. And this is today's finds. Look at all these Burberry polos. Oh my god, guys. Well, that was a success. We literally got like 10 Burberry pieces all from one store. And a polo bear shirt. It's just insane. Now we're going to go home. Let's check on the tie-dye shirts. I just took the tie-dye out of the dryer. And I'll be honest with you, it looks pretty cool. I thought that it would be a lot more brighter. I probably did something wrong. I know, one, I didn't put soda ash, which I guess soda ash, you kind of soak the shirt before and it really absorbs the colors. So I know I didn't do that and I probably didn't do a lot of things right, but to be honest, I think it looks kind of sick. Yesterday I did have leftover dye, so off camera I did put two crewnecks. So I'll show you guys these crewnecks I might have for sale. They're basically a size small, I'd say, maybe like a woman's or like a young kid's, but this is one of them. It has like that marbling effect. This was one that I ran out of dye basically, so it was kind of just like the leftover. But I feel like it was kind of sick. The front and back. I probably shouldn't have layered up because you're probably like, which shirt is which? This is another crew neck. Now, if you guys remember, I did the Chanel uh, spell out on the vintage tag a while ago. So we have this one. Again, these crew necks probably fit about like a small, maybe a medium, but definitely a small for sure. And the back of it. And then these are the t-shirts that we did. So this is the size large guys can kind of get an example obviously there's a lot of blank spacing that I could have used ink and basically what that comes down to is just the tying and where you put the rubber bands I probably did it wrong like I'm not I, this is my first time doing this so I didn't really know what to do so I probably could have folded it differently and they could have been more splattered but to be honest I think it looks pretty sick as it is and then the back then this is the size XL and all of them do seem a little bit different, like, in their own, so they're very unique. This is the size small. This is the size medium. This one, I think, turned out almost one of the best, because it had, like, that swirl effect. And then last but not least, we have this size large. It almost looks like ribs going down. Now the crew necks I'll probably have listed on my website and I think I have one extra shirt that I'll put on my website just for sale, you know, just, you guys saw me do it on a video so maybe you guys, if you guys, you know, like me, watch my videos, will be like, oh, this is kind of cool, EMC did this, blah, blah, blah. 
And if you guys enjoy or if you guys actually like this tie-dye, maybe I can continue making tie-dye stuff. You know, I find a lot of vintage white stuff or I can get white t-shirts, white crew necks, white hoodies, do a little tie-dye and sell them to you guys for a very cheap price. You know, not, not expensive at all. Uh, I got these t-shirts for $2 and I'm gonna post them up for $10. So literally I'm making $8 on the shirt. Like it, it sounds like a lot, but I could easily price it for 20, 30, 40, like and no. And I was thinking basically this is kind of like my merch guys. Like if you guys wanna like you guys support other channels, you buy merch. Well, this is kind of like my merch, my merch. $20. You can help support your boy. Link down below, check it out. And now to show you the pickup of the thrift finds of today. Now keep in mind I did have to pay a little bit much on these Burberry polos, so the price kind of reflects, but also keep in mind if you guys want a brand new like Burberry uh, polo collar shirt. It's gonna be about at least $200. So just keep that in mind uh, I think they'll be about $50 $60 plus shipping um, You really can't beat that you know a fourth of the price of inside the store not No flaws at all and also check link down below for the measurements Most of them are size large there is one or two mediums But also just check the measurements could it could fit like an XL it could fit like a medium With the measurements it really makes you like personal to see if it'll actually fit you so to start it off, we have the royal blue Burberry little polo with the white emblem. Got the forest green with the white emblem. These are all size large to start off with. We have the red. And all of these do have the inner tag, like the legit Burberry London. They're all authentic. I did uh, authenticate them before buying them. We have a size small, medium, polar, polar Ralph Lauren polar bear shirt. This is one of the reprint ones. We have a size medium, like olive green Burberry with like the cream color. I might keep this for personal because honestly I love the fading, but I will post it up. We have the Raiders 1996. This is a size uh, XL, I believe. Next we have a wine burgundy Burberry London t-shirt. This is a size medium. And again, all of them have the correct tags. Size large, we have like the burnt orange with the white. This honestly seems like it's brand new, never been worn. And then we have a purple. Size 38, brand new with tags. We have the vintage Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy Jeans cargo shorts. It's the loose fit and it also has a little Tommy hits right there. And then last but not least, the vintage Nike gray tag, just a central black tee with a nice embroidered check. Again, I might keep this for personal. Not too much, we only went up two stores, but as soon as I walked into Goodwill, I, I did see somebody with like a cart full of stuff and it seemed like he was buying stuff that I would probably buy like vintage and just streetwear and pop culture, just stuff like that. So I got what I could. The rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna make some lunch, make some food and list this stuff on my website. So make sure you guys check out link down below. All these stuff will be for sale, as well as my keychains, $20. I appreciate you so much. Every order made on the website helps make me produce these videos. Obviously, I've been killing it for like this month. You guys have been killing it for this month. So I've been producing videos every single day. Now, if the sales start slowing down and work starts slowing down, then I'm gonna have to continue back with the side jobs and I can't post every single day. So as long as the sales continue, I can continue posting every single day. The keychains really do help a lot. Again, I am gonna buy a vehicle with whatever money that is made from that. So just go down, check below. I literally have probably 180 items. Scroll down, see if you find something you like, buy something for a friend. T-shirts are probably eight to $10 and up. So I appreciate everyone. Else. If you liked today's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I will see you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it.